Hi, this is Nettie Owens with Safari Solutions and the Take Control system. You can check that out at TakeControl.com. It's been a few days since I've been on talking uh, to you and I've missed getting a chance to share organizing tips, so I'm glad to be back um, sharing with you. Uh, it's been a busy week and a half. I went on vacation and I wanted to share a little bit about the adventures <laughs> that I had on my vacation because you may be able to relate. So the vacation was great and we had a lot of fun and we were on the way back home when our van broke down um, three hours from our home. And it you know, the, this was like a serious breaking down. The engine, check engine light came on and it said, don't drive, you have to stop. So we pulled over and, um, and were able to kind of assess the situation. And here's what happened. So we were able to get a tow truck to take us to a very close by dealership where they were able to diagnose the problem and we were able to get a rental car um, in order to get us to and from wherever we needed to go. They were supposed to close by 6 o'clock and it was 5.30 and we got a car so that was great. Um, and we were able to get my husband to the airport. He had an early flight the next day, so we really had to get home. We couldn't just stay over in the town we were in. We had to get home uh, to get him on his plane. So I'm sharing this with you because it could have happened very differently. Um, for one, we could have broken down where we were on vacation, which was in the middle of nowhere with no signal and no dealership and no tow truck and no anything anywhere nearby, no cell phone service or anything, so that would have been bad. Uh, when we broke down, we could have not been able to get to the next exit, which also would have been pretty bad. We could have had an accident when we broke down, and, um, and certainly that would be pretty bad, right? We might have broken down after the tow truck wasn't available, or nowhere near a dealership, or nowhere near a rental car agency in order to pick us up. He could have missed his flight, which would have really sucked. So I think it's pretty common, though, that we hit bumps in the road. Uh, you know, just in life in general, um, in uh, certainly if we're talking about organizing projects, you're going to hit obstacles. You're going to, there are going to be setbacks. There are going to be things that, that don't work out quite the way you want them to or not how you expected. And, and maybe you need to spend a little bit more time in one area. Uh, maybe you have to shift your focus completely. I mean, maybe you just have to go down an entirely different path than what you expected. But it's important to remember that no matter what, there is going to be, one, a light at the end of the tunnel, and two, things to celebrate along the way. It would have been so easy to overlook all of the positives that happened in our travel hiccup. It would have been so easy to just get focused on the fact that, oh my gosh, we broke down and now we're gonna have, you know, certainly a car bill and, you know, we've got this extra driving to do and this extra time and it's gonna be a hassle to get to the airport. All of that, all of that could have been going through our minds when this happened, but it was just better. It was just better to focus on the positives because there were so many, which was awesome. And, and because we were okay, and because there was a path, like I said, there was a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, and in doing so, not only did we feel better about the whole situation, how we also helped those around us feel good about helping us out too. And, and people were so helpful and so generous uh, in helping us with this particular um, hiccup that we had. So number one, when things go wrong, and they will, things will go differently than what you have planned them to go, um, there's going to be some way out of the situation, and there will always be positives that you can celebrate along the way, and doing so will make the problem solvable. It's solvable when you can see the good things that are happening and, and the solution will then present itself. Um, I hope that you have had a wonderful 
week uh, since I, I've been out of the loop, and I look forward to getting to share with you again next time. So remember to please check out TakeControlSystem.com and also to subscribe to the video feed here. I'd love to keep have you continue to follow me. Until next time, bye-bye.